friends, today I want to share with you a little craft I come up with. You know, being a crafter, I kind of analyze everything I throw away. And I have been saving this little clear wine bottle for a few weeks, thinking, you know, I want to do something with it spring-like. And it finally come to me. Now, I went on Pinterest, and of course, I've seen tons of people that have painted rabbits on wine glasses and things like that. But I'd never seen one made the way I want to. And I wanted to make like a little uh, floppy hat on a rabbit and using this wine bottle. Could paint the wine bottle white if it's not clear and you'll need a lunch sack. That's what we're going to make the kind of country floppy hat out of and a rubber band. I've been playing around with it and I like the way it looks and just thought it was too cute not to share with you. Now I'll go over how we're going to make the rabbit face in just a few minutes but let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to construct the hat. I have had to re-record making the hat because I accidentally deleted the footage but you just take a lunch sack cut about two inches off the edge of it open it up stick your hand in it and you are going to crumble it up and open it up, crumble it up, and open it up about 20 times. What this does is it softens the paper and it makes it very pliable and it just knocks the uh, the square bottom off of the hat. Don't, and from this angle, it doesn't look too great. You know, you'll see the finished bottle shortly. But just take the opening of the bag and fold it up about two or three times until you get the length of hat that you want. And that's gonna be the brim of the hat. Now what you're gonna do is fit the whole hat over the wine bottle and take a rubber band and secure it onto the wine bottle past the neck. Hope that makes sense to you when you see the hat. And then you'll put a couple spots of hot glue on the bottle to secure the hat. Okay, as far as the rabbit face, I wanna show you some ideas that you may not thought, have thought of if you're just trying to gather some things up around the house without it costing anything. Now, as far as the rabbit nose, there's a, there's a, here's a few options. You could use a pink pom-pom if you had it. You could actually punch or cut out a pink heart or even a pink button of some sort. That would make the perfect rabbit nose. As far as eyes, Google eyes are the best, but a second best would just be cut out some white paper and color the centers black or cut out black circles. It's the rabbit ears. This is just some cardstock and I cut some little pieces to go inside and used magic marker and colored them pink. Super simple shape. You don't even need a pattern for that. No two ears are perfect, so it doesn't matter if they're not perfectly even, but the cardstock ears would look equally as cute. Now I happen to have some pink and white felt. I'm going to do the exact same thing but use felt and I'm going to hot glue these onto the back of my rabbit hat. It will uh, make sense once you see it all put together. As far as me putting my rabbit face on there, I'm going to keep my hat on my bottle just so that I can keep it proportioned because I don't want my hat too high and my you know, eyes too low or anything like that. As far as whiskers, you know, rabbits have whiskers. Here's an option, a chenille stem. This would work perfectly. If not, just cut you some little strips of cardstock and those could be the whiskers. Or if you had, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, you get these when you buy sandwich bags and, and garbage bags, the white paper covered wire. This would work perfect and they're already cut to size. So that's just an idea too if you're looking for, you know, some, a whisker alternative. Just want to throw that out there if you are trying to round up some cheap or free supplies. I want to show you a little piece that I'm going to add to my rabbit to kind of help distinguish him a rabbit. I cut it out of felt. Of course, you could cut it out of paper. And it's really just two little circles. It could be two circles side by side. I just happened to fold mine in half and cut it on the fold so that my two little ovals would be identical. And so what that's going to be is I guess you call that the little uh, rabbit snout or something. But and I just took a black marker and put some dots on there. And you'll see it better once I get the bottle displayed where I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to glue that on there and that's where I'm going to stick my rabbit nose. All right, let me catch you up where I'm at now. I did put a spot of glue under my paper bag just to kind of secure my hat with a rubber band. Now, as far as my face, you know, I hot glued the two little oval circles behind and the little dots with a, with a permanent marker. I just hot glued the little Chanel stems under the fuzzy ball. The Sharpie marker, again, it draws on glass pretty well and just made like a little bit of a rabbit mouth and a few little eyelashes. Now the only thing else I have left to do is just embellish the hat. Now what I'm gonna do as far as the ears, I'm gonna take the ears and hot glue on back of the hat somehow. A ribbon around the brim of the hat and that'll kind of help secure the ears as well. Let's go hot glue ribbon and a few flowers on there. Uh, this is my ribbon. These flowers are from G's Embellishment Emporium. If you're looking for these little orange 
and white little daisies. I thought that would be cute on there. And I'll finish it up and put it on my table and show you what it looks like. All right, friends, this is one less wine bottle in the garbage dump. Love the way it turned out. I just had this little tray, put some grass and eggs around him. You know, as far as the rabbit face, you could definitely put white paper shreds in the wine bottle that would give a little more color to the face where it would show up a little bit better, but I kind of like the clear rabbit face. Love the way the little hat turned out and the little felt ears on the back. I mean, this seriously cost me zero dollars. And even if you had to go buy the stuff, super cheap. But I'm just going to enjoy this the next few weeks on my dining room table. So I hope it inspires you in some way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.